Hey guys, today we're gonna use the jazz beat for some coordination exercises. The jazz beat goes like this. One, two, three, four. Obviously the jazz beat has a triplet feel. We're playing quarter notes with the right hand. One, two, three, four. And on beat two and on beat four, we're playing the third note of the triplet. So, one, two, and a, uh, three, four, and a, uh, one. And on beat two and four, we're playing a hi hat with the foot, with the left foot. Um, so, the whole pattern again sounds like this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So we're gonna play some stickings uh, together with this pattern, but we're gonna play the stickings with the right foot and the left hand, since the right hand and the left foot are already occupied. So the first sticking we're gonna try is just single strokes, right, left, right, left, right, left. And we're playing triplets, so it sounds like this. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. If you find yourself struggling with this exercise, uh, you can just play the stickings on the first beat. So, one and two, three, four. And one and two, three, and four. And one. Then you can try to play the sticking on the second beat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one. And then combine beat one and two. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you can play the whole bar. So you can just build it up like that. Okay, we're gonna play two bars of time and then two bars of this sticking, single strokes. Uh, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. We started the single strokes with the right foot, but we can also start with the left hand. And then it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One. And you can even combine those two. So maybe one bar starting with the right foot. One bar starting with the left hand. So starting with the right. Left. Right. Left. So there are a couple of variations you can try. Let's move on to the next sticking. The next sticking is double strokes. So right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Let's play quarter notes with the right hand on the cymbal and see how those doubles line up when we play them as triplets. One, two, three, four. And with the jazz pattern, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And of 
course, we can start with the left hand as well. And again, you can start with a couple of notes and then build it up from there. Uh, let's take it one step further. Let's try to play a paradiddle with a jazz pattern. The paradiddle goes like this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. The paradiddle has eight notes. A bar of triplets has 12 notes. So that means we need two whole bars to make the paradiddle fit into the triplet feel. Um, let's play quarter notes on the cymbal first and then play paradiddles between the right foot and the left hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And with the jazz pattern, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Or a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. So this is pretty tricky and you know it can take some time to uh, really master this. Uh, let's add one more thing, let's add some accents. When you're playing a paradiddle, you can accent every paradiddle that starts with the left hand. So, uh, right, left, right, right, and then that paradiddle that starts with the left hand, we're gonna accent that. So. So in the jazz pattern, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So that's how you play a paradiddle over a jazz beat. In the online course at nextleveldrummer.com, there's a full video lesson on how to play stickings over a jazz beat. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.